Hi, my name is Jacqueline Tyler and I'm on the committee for the Heart Truth Fashion Show on September 22nd in Calgary. And we had an opportunity to sit down with Bill and Anya from Sophia Models on their participation and why they're excited to get involved in this event. Uh, we founded Sophia Models in October of 2010. And um, what is it about the Heart Truth Fashion Show that you're excited to um, help make possible on September 22nd? I think Calgary needs a really huge fashion show and an event that uh, people will be excited about again. Uh, there are some huge fashion shows that we used to do back uh, about 2008 and uh, seven, and uh, so we really want to bring back uh, a huge event for Calgary. And uh, for myself, it actually touches me a little bit because of my father actually had a stroke in 2007, and then uh, he passed away in uh, 2011 help the research and uh, the hopefully overcome stroke all, all together. Now, um, what can guests expect out of a Sophia produced fashion show? There's going to be the signature red dress um, celebrity VIP campaign and, and strut down the, the runway, but there will also be a retailer aspect, right? Yes, we're going to be approaching uh, the top retailers in Calgary and maybe even some top malls and make sure that they're aware of the event and the importance of the event and uh, we're going to have the uh, retailers have a set or two and some actually top designers too that could possibly uh, fill a whole set uh, for our fashion show so we definitely want to have you know some excellent retailers in it and uh, we're going to be approaching some of these individuals in fact we already have and hopefully they're willing to participate in this excellent event and how many models will you be having uh, participate? Uh, we're probably looking at, I would say, close to 35, 40, and plus the celebrities that are going to be coming in too. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a huge event. So you're bringing um, all your experience and years in the industry and um, elevating the caliber of a fashion show experience. So. What, um, what else can people expect through the venue? There's a new venue that you've chosen for this event? Yeah, uh, it's going to be the 8th Ave place, uh, right across uh, the street from Holt Renfrew. And uh, it's an excellent building, uh, brand new. It's only a year old, I believe. And uh, the foyer there is unbelievable. And uh, our models are really looking forward to it, where you have you know, our top models that are, of course, going to be in the fashion show and are really looking forward to it. Uh, the red dress aspect of the fashion show for the Heart and Stroke Foundation through the Heart Truth is going to be fabulous. We're having some top designers coming in and uh, we want to coordinate the fashion show to have it one of the best of the year for Calgary. And Bill, where can guests go to find out more information about the event? Uh, they can go to the website, thehearttruthcalgary.com and all the info is right there. You can find out everything about it. Thank you. So Ani, do you want to tell us a little bit how you um, came to Calgary and what got you started in the industry? Yeah, um, I came to Calgary when I was 13 years old. I'm originally from Poland. Um, I started modeling at 14, so just a year after. Um, started with Bill right away, um, back when it was Moan Models. Uh, Sophia kind of uh, grew from that base um, with all the models and all the girls together. Um, we all kind of stuck together throughout the, all the times, um, all the years. We've been working together, we've known each other as friends, you know, as colleagues, so it's been a really great experience overall. So you've yeah. had the opportunity to travel internationally yeah. and um, say yes and no to different projects and yeah. have the flexibility to get the balance. Like uh, you said, you still went to school yeah. and had that foundation. Oh, too, absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. my parents always wanted me to uh, stay in school. and you know, keep that uh, modeling as plan B, I guess, so to speak. Um, it was never my main uh, purpose, even though somehow fashion has become uh, my, yeah, my, my life, exactly, because I am so, um, I'm just so consumed with it at all times, you know, of the day, because I love it so much, so it just kind of, by osmosis or something, I'm just in it. Yeah. yeah. What's been your favorite part about modeling? Um, I think, just being a part of this community, um, fashion in general, as well as modeling and the agency in itself. Um, you know, Bill and all the other girls that I have grown up with, um, we've known each other, well, for now 12 years. I have known them, some girls have known each other longer than that. It's just, it has become such a unit. We are like one big family and 
it's really nice to have that, you know, outside of the support of your family, you also have the support of the modeling family that you've created over the years because everybody also understands these things that you go through and these hardships or uh, insecurities that you might have as a result. So everybody's kind of very supportive of each other. You celebrate everyone's success. It's not competitive. It's not competitive at all, yeah. Um, what's been your career highlight so far? Um, I think, well, traveling has been a great part of it. Um, I've traveled for about eight years out of the 12 that I've been modeling, um, seeing all these great places, meeting amazing people, coming out of my shell, uh, growing as a woman, and, uh, you know, personality-wise, I mean, I don't know if I would have been the same person as I am today. I am, you know, much more brave and uh, open to things and, you know, um, working with great photographers like Brian Adams, for example, was for sure one of the highlights and being in magazines like Flair and Fashion on a national scale, so. So, you've now been known to vlog in Calgary, yeah. under Anya B. Yes. Tell us about that next venture. Um, yeah, I started my blog, AnyaB.net, um, two years ago, and as kind of an outlet for my creativity and, you know, frustration at the fashion industry in Calgary because it has grown, it grows and then it shrinks and it grows and it shrinks and people leave and it's very frustrating to see that happen. So I finally decided that my blog is going to be something that I'm going to work at and I'm, I want to grow and I want to show the rest of, you know, the country and the rest of the world that Calgary is not, you know, that it actually is something and that things do happen here. And, um, you know, I've been working on some projects with it and I've been, uh, you know, featured in magazines and stuff. So it is really, um, it is recognized all over the world. So it's, that's very exciting. Yeah. Now, um, the Heart Truth Fashion Show Committee is um, thrilled to bring it to Calgary because they too recognize that Calgary is eagerly waiting. What do you think an event like this will bring to the city? Uh, well, we've been waiting for something like this for a while now. Um, it's a great opportunity for designers to showcase their talents and people to see what their, you know, what opportunities there are in this city, um, as well as the fact that it is a charity and it does bring awareness to all the things that women need to know about health and how to take care of themselves and the fact that, uh, you know, heart disease is one of the leading causes of death for women and it's just something that, you know, as women, models, and you know, part of, you know, the greater picture we just need to recognize so I think it will be um, an amazing event. Bring awareness. Yeah. Well thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs>